Moving on now, and when you think of Japan, things that come to mind might include sushi, anime, or your Toyota sitting in the driveway. Agriculture isn't usually a word that's on the list. And yeah, when compared to the United States, Japan is far behind us in areas like farmland and those who work on it. However, one of Japan's strongest pockets of agriculture is led by a man whose future success was shaped by his time spent in Nebraska and the skills he learned here. Kumamoto and Nebraska, two states in two different countries, separated by an ocean, but connected by a promise of opportunity. Kumamoto, technically a prefecture, if you want to be exact, is located in southern Japan and home to almost two million people. It's led by Governor Iko Kabashima, now in his third term, a charming man with big ideas, a love for agriculture, and a heart for Nebraska, the place he once called home. Growing up in a poor farming family, he had his own agricultural dreams and came to America to make them a reality. I thought I should uh, become a rancher, but before I become a rancher, I want to study how to raise cattle. So I came to the uh, United States as agriculture trainees, and uh, that's why I came to the uh, uh, University of Nebraska as a part of the program for three months. And in 1968, that's where this story begins. It wasn't an easy road for Kabashima. His English and math skills were still a work in progress, but through hard work and countless hours of studying, those three months eventually turned into full-time university enrollment. When I entered the University of Nebraska, uh, I was already uh, get the straight A's, so they let me become a, a special student. And the special student, not only we get the tuition fee free, and also not only we get the scholarship, but uh, they let me research from uh, freshman year. As the years went by, those dreams of having his own ranch expanded, along with his opportunities. Kabashima earned degrees in animal science and agricultural economics from Nebraska, and later a PhD from Harvard. Hello, my name is Iko Kabashima. With a track record of prosperity as a popular Japanese politician, Kabashima is back in Nebraska to share his recipe for success, effective leadership, and agricultural sustainability at the institution that helped him all those years ago. Well, he's wicked smart, uh, no question about that. Uh, we had a chance to talk about uh, culture and approach to leading, and so I'm really excited to, uh, I got a chance to hear his insights um, about, uh, you know, basically how culture can eat strategy for lunch. And um, I think that's very true. We talked a lot about the importance of having a common shared vision. We talked a lot about um, the importance of teams and so I think he, uh, his education and his persona fit very nicely into our fabric and our approach here in Nebraska. Kabashima took what he learned in the U.S. back to Japan and helped build a thriving prefecture. Today, Kumamoto ranks sixth in Japan in agriculture. It leads the country in exports of tomatoes and watermelon and supplies yellowtail, a fish popular in sushi. It's a good fit for the former husker. In Kumamoto, agriculture is a very important industry. So it's very resembled to Nebraska, you know. For Nebraska, agriculture is very important. And in that sense, you know, I study agriculture in the University of Nebraska. It's very, very useful because I have a knowledge about agriculture. Usually, many governors do not have a similar kind of experience like me. You know, I know agriculture people to be happy because you have a very good, you know, hard memory too. Agriculture is very difficult. The lessons that he learned as an animal science major, the lessons he learned um, as an ag economist are exactly, I had exactly the tools he's applying to governing um, the most productive, uh, one of the most productive agricultural zones in Japan. I think the integrated systems thinking that Nebraska and the Institute are known for, I think that's exactly 
what the doctor ordered and having him come back and share a little bit with our students, pretty fantastic opportunity. Borrowing from the lessons he learned working in agriculture and public service, Kabashima has focused much of his time in office on economic advancement and community pride, which is manifested in Kumamon, Kumamoto's larger-than-life mascot. Kumamon. I have a formula for future agriculture. Return for agriculture for you equal price and the quantity minus cost because you have to make this uh, optimize price, optimizing the quantity, optimizing the cost. And to increase the uh, price, you have to brand yourself, brand your, uh, your state's production. And as Kumamoto's global profile increases and Nebraska remains a key player in agricultural research, the hope is that both spots will be uniquely positioned for a long-lasting partnership. In fact, it's already been happening. I think the potential there for um, working collaboratively uh, in our teaching and learning research and then I know one of the things the governor is uh, really excited about is they don't have an extension service and, and he created one in uh, Kumamoto. Um, and so he's already talked with Dean Hibbard about partnerships and how we might be able to learn from each other in that space. The governor is also eager to see what's in store for the next generation of agriculture innovators and is ready to tackle challenges head on. After all, He's proof that having roots in ag can yield boundless opportunities and wants students to realize their potential. Uh, people think agriculture is not developing, but I think uh, agriculture has a very large potential because using uh, AI, smart agriculture, and that's, that's kind of uh, opportunity is now for you because uh, especially in the United States, you have a large land and uh, you can decrease cost, but population of the world is increasing and they have to eat. So uh, if you know the knowledge how to decrease the cost of uh, production, how to increase the uh, 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 quality of agriculture goods, you have a very much chance of uh, getting large return. <laughs>